Good morning, friends. My name is Becky, and this is Acre Homestead, and I thought it would be fun if you guys wanted to hang out with me today. <laughs> I'm out here letting my dogs out to go potty, and as you guys know, they do like to tend to run off, so I have to kind of be pretty vigilant on them when I let them out. Today's gonna be a pretty busy day. It's gonna be jam-packed. I need to get out in the garden and do some harvesting. I need to do some green bean preservation probably on Sunday and so I want to try to get as much stuff out of the garden so that I can do that on Sunday. I need to make a beet carrot salad. I'm going to a friend's for a barbecue this afternoon with some of my old co-workers and so I need to get that made up this morning. I need to go to the post office because I am going to be opening a P.O. box by the time you see this video. Hopefully I have that P.O. box and I'm going to be going out to a local farm to tour a local farm so that we can start the August local food movement challenge and I'm pretty excited about that. So I'll take you guys along throughout my day and we'll just have fun together. All right, boys, let's go inside. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go inside. Good boys. Look at that listening. When I first get up, I really like to make sure the dishwasher is unloaded and any dishes that need to go in the dishwasher get put in there. I'm currently loading in a bunch of mason jars that I got from Goodwill and anytime I bring mason jars home, the best way I find to wash them is just throw them in the dishwasher and do one good wash before I use them. I'm glad I got up early and went over the questions and kind of got a game plan for this afternoon to do the farm video because they just texted and said, can we move it up by a few hours? So I'm gonna go ahead and skip picking the green beans, but I do need to make that beet carrot salad. So we're gonna go out and harvest quite a few herbs for that salad. This salad is delicious. I actually don't really like beets, but when I was part of a CSA, you definitely are gonna get beets if you're part of a CSA. So I had to figure out a way to make beets in a way that I like them. And I figured out that this is my favorite way to eat beets and it's actually really delicious. I'm gonna harvest just a couple of these because I do have some beets inside already. I'm just gonna get as much dirt off out here as possible. And then we're gonna get some, this is parsley. We're gonna head over and get some mint now. And this is some basil. And some chives. I had no idea these carrots were ready. Look at how beautiful this is. Sweet, you guys, I had no idea my carrots. Oh, she, this one split too. I should have harvested them a while ago. Shoot, a bunch of them cracked. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these carrots and beets outside by my tomato plant so that the wasted water can actually water my plants. We're in a little bit of a drought. It hasn't rained since March, so. I just figured I would try to kill two birds with one stone. Plus that also keeps more of the dirt outside. I really don't want the dirt from the carrots going down my kitchen sink. So we're just gonna give everything a really good scrub out here and then I will wash everything again when we get inside. These carrot tops and beet greens are actually gonna go to the chickens. I absolutely know that I could preserve these and use them myself, but the chickens aren't getting that many greens right now because it's summer and they have to stay in their coop. So I think this would be a great snack for them today. So I did take all these carrots inside and I gave them another really good scrub with a scrub brush. And I'm not gonna peel them because they're homegrown carrots and this peel is pretty thin, but I am gonna cut off the two ends. I did the same thing with the beets. I took a scrub brush to them and with the lemons because we're gonna make a vinaigrette out of the lemons. And I'm gonna use the lemon zest, so I wanna make sure the skin is really clean. I can't believe, I was gonna use store-bought carrots. I had no idea these carrots were ready to harvest. So this is exciting. And I am gonna peel these beets. Just cut the ends off and the tops off and we're gonna eat them raw. You can really eat raw beets. I prefer them actually to cooked beets. I feel like they have less of that crazy dirty flavor. Not like they are dirty, but dirt flavor. probably two handfuls let's just say we have two handfuls of mixed herbs here well maybe two and a half because we have that stuff and I'm just gonna give them a nice chop this is basil parsley mint just a little bit of mint it adds really good flavor but you don't want to add too much of it or overpower it
look how absolutely stunning this salad is. This is gonna be going into the refrigerator and this is a really awesome salad because this can stay in the refrigerator for a few days and it still tastes really good because you're using carrots and beets, which are pretty hearty vegetables. This is a great meal prep salad if you want to have like veggies in the fridge to eat. This is a really good one. Typically when I make this salad, I make it with these Moroccan kebabs and lentils and rice and caramelized onions, but I just needed to bring a side dish, so this is what I'm bringing because I had all these ingredients. The only, the only thing I needed to buy for this were the lemons, the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, and the mustard. So all the actual bulk of the salad came from my garden, which is pretty exciting, and that is the goal. So it is now 8.46. I need to go ahead and get in the shower. I need to get ready to go so that I can head over to the post office before I go over to the farm to do the farm tour. Before I get in the shower, I want to mention the reason I always like to start my day with the unloaded dishwasher is I was able to get all those dishes I used to make that salad right into the dishwasher and I didn't have to worry about having a dishwasher full of dirty dishes. That is one thing if I can I definitely like to do that because it does make my life a lot easier. It's official. I am a P.O. Box owner. I feel super excited about this. I've never had one before. It was actually really easy to do that. So the farm we're heading to is called Marion Acres and it is a 100% pasture farm setup. They do turkeys. Don't you hate when you're putting stuff in your glove box and it all fit at one point, but now I'm trying to get it back in there and it's not fitting. I feel rushed even though I'm not. I just want to be there about 45 minutes early from when I actually need to be there so that I can feel settled and I can kind of get the lay of the land. This farm is about an hour and five minutes away from me and mostly because I have to go through downtown Portland to get there. Otherwise it wouldn't take as long to get there. So let's go ahead and go there. I, I'm glad to get that PO box thing done. If you're interested in knowing what my PO box number is, I'll leave it down in the description box below. A few of you guys have asked me for it. We just got here and I'm gonna redo my hair that's why I was just playing with my hair driving through Portland on a Friday at 10 30 there should be no traffic why would there stop and go traffic I love going to Portland and going to Portland but driving through Portland is a whole nother beast I had my sunglasses and then there was a big bump right here and so I'm just gonna redo my hair because I'm not feeling it. So that I go into this tour and interview feeling confident. I just use bobby pins to pin my hair up. I actually prefer the little ones, but I only have mostly the big ones right now. So what I'm doing at this farm is I'm actually gonna interview them and they are pasture raised farmers. They basically are like the Joel Salatin of the West Coast or they do the same farming practices as Joel Salatin, if you've ever heard of him. He's a pretty famous farmer that lives in Virginia, I believe. I should probably know that, but. And they do 100% pasture raised, which means that they grow all their animals outside, if you don't know. Factory farmed pigs and chickens and turkeys never actually see the light of day. They basically live like in a warehouse their entire life. And so this approach is definitely a more holistic approach. It's a more natural approach, meaning Animals are on grass and they live their entire lives outside. They see the sun, they breathe the air, they eat grass, they eat bugs. And it's just a really beautiful thing. I love buying my meat whenever possible from local sources. Now you guys have seen my grocery hauls. I do not buy all my meat local, but it's a goal that one day I hope I can. So I just wanna bring awareness to this farm because this farm is doing a fantastic job. The farm interview tour video is a completely different video if you wanna go watch that. That video is already out so you can go watch it there. I told them I was gonna get here about 30 minutes or so before the interview and I got here about 45 minutes before the interview and I definitely am much happier with the way my hair looks which means I feel a little bit more confident going into this interview because this is my first time doing an interview with anybody. I hope it went well and I hope you guys enjoyed the farm tour. They also have this really cool on-site store where everything is 100% local inside. They have a little cafe in there as well. They sell local produce and they also sell some local breads, artisan honeys and their meat that they produce. I'm just sitting out here in the shade waiting for them to come out so that we can start the interview. And they have a little cafe in there that you can order food or drinks and come out and sit on this beautiful patio and look at the beautiful view. But look at what I just found. This is how free range they let the chickens be around here. If they can get out of the pen, they can hang out at the patio where people drink their beer or their coffee and have their snack.
All right, I am done doing the interview. That went really well, and I'm just so happy with how that went. It was a little intimidating. As soon as I got there, I was like, ah, I'm nervous, but I think it went really well. As long as the audio went well, that was super fun. So I'm excited to share that video with you. It, I may have bought 45 corn on the cob because you know my corn isn't doing super well and it's not gonna be enough for me to last for a year. And I was gonna go to the farmer's market this weekend, but I wasn't sure when that was gonna fit into my schedule. So I didn't have to because they had it here. I also got two bottles of wine, two local bottles of wine. I'm going out to that barbecue and I thought it'd be fun to be able to bring a local bottle of wine to that barbecue. And then I also bought some local sea salt that's actually, the sea salt is produced on the Oregon coast. So I need to look at my directions to go home it's probably gonna take me at least an hour if not two hours to get home because traffic is gonna be so bad because because now it's 2 30 on Friday night and I have to cross Portland again so I'm not really looking forward to that and so I need to be focusing so I'm gonna see you guys back when I get home I'm probably just gonna have time to get home freshen up a little bit it's super hot it's like 90 I guess it's 86 degrees right now so it took me an hour and eight minutes to get back because Google took me on some back roads which was really nice and now I just have time to take care of this corn Basically, all I'm gonna do is throw this in the fridge and then I will grab my salad and I'm gonna head over to my friend's barbecue. I've got the salad. I went ahead and put the salad in a box because there's beets in it. I don't want that to spill in my cart. I'm about to spill it now showing you. <laughs> if it spills, it's gonna stay in the box. So. I'm gonna put this in the back actually. It's nice and secure in there. We'll just put a tube next to it too and we'll just call that good. We went to the river last weekend and then here's that nice bottle of wine I bought actually. We're just gonna stick that right on top. I just got home from my friend's barbecue and it was super fun to see everybody who I haven't seen in a while. And it was so nice. We just sat outside and talked and it was just really nice to hang out. And I'm just sitting here talking to you guys now on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, you should. It's super fun to talk to you over there because it's really easy to, for me to have a nice dialogue. And I've just been really enjoying getting to know you guys. And it's 8.09 and what I have to do is I have to go upstairs and sit down and edit a video. I just got myself some water, but we are going wine tasting tomorrow. We are going wine tasting with some friends and I haven't done that since 2020 and it's one of my favorite things to do. Oregon is known in the Willamette Valley for some fantastic, incredible wine, and going wine tasting is one of my favorite things, and I haven't been able to do that in a long time, and so I'm just so looking forward to it. But in order for me to do that, I need to sit down and edit a video tonight, or I have to get up early and edit tomorrow. But we have to leave here at 9.45 because our first appointment is at 11 because now with all the stuff in the world, you make appointments, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to because that will guarantee you a spot and it's not gonna be so crowded. So it'll be kind of nice to have appointments. So we already know where we're going tomorrow, which wineries, but I am hot and I am ready just to freshen up, get in bed. I like to edit my videos in bed and I'm gonna do that because I don't feel like getting up at like five in the morning tomorrow. So. I'm going to end this video here. I just want to say a huge thank you for you guys hanging out with me today. It was a busy day. It was super fun. I got to do some new things that I've never done before, interviewing someone. Um, I hope to get better at that. That was fun. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed that farm tour, it won't be the last farm tour because there's some pretty incredible farms around here. And not just, not just meat producers, but there's some incredible veggie farmers and wineries and just all the fun things that we could go explore, all these cool local opportunities. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more and you're new, consider subscribing or there'll be some videos that will pop up here you could go watch. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, a fantastic evening. I hope your gardens are producing for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.